Hello, my name is Paul. I'm Phil. And we're firefighters working at Cambridge Fire Station on Whitewatch. Hopefully you saw our first video. If you did, thanks for watching. This is our second video, and today we're going to have a look at the RTC locker. RTC stands for Road Traffic Collision. Accidents on the road can be accidents involving cars, lorries, buses, motorcycles, any type of vehicle that you see on the road. The first thing that we will do when we attend an RTC after establishing contacts with the casualty is stabilise the vehicle. What Phil's holding up is a step block and we've also got square blocks and wedges which we can put under strategic points of the vehicle which prevents the vehicle from moving while we're working on it. Any movement while we're working could cause further injury or discomfort to the casualty so it's an important stage of the, of the process. Once we stabilise the car and we've managed the glass, we'll start to reshape and cut away parts of the car to gain access to the vehicle. Using the Helmetro power pack, which is a petrol generator, connected by these hoses, we connect into, this is the first tool, the spreader, that can be used to spread parts of the vehicle away, uh, and also to crush parts of the vehicle if we need to make it smaller. Next up, the tool going to get out for us is the cutters. Cutters are very powerful jaws which can cut through all the metal parts of the car and using this we can remove doors, we can cut the entire roof off, we can cut away parts of the vehicle that we need to to gain access to the casualty and be able to bring them out in a safe and controlled way. The next thing Phil's going to hold up is a ram. On this vehicle we've got three different types of ram and the only difference is the length. Now, what we do with the ram is we place it in between two parts of the vehicle that need to be moved away from each other. So in effect, with these pistons moving out from the main body of the ram, that will create more space around the casualty, giving the medics more space to work around them and giving us more space to cut more parts of the vehicle or to remove them at the end of the, of the, the, end of the execution. A few other bits we've got on the vehicle. We've got our first aid kit or trauma bag. On here we've got oxygen cylinder which we use for patients who are distressed and we've also got all the normal dressings and uh, something called an AED, an automatic external defibrillator, which is for patients who are not breathing. We've also got a couple of various power tools here, these are battery operated power tools. One is the saw which we can cut through the windscreen and also different metal parts of the car. And the other one is a bit like a cordless power drill and we can use that to remove pieces inside the car, uh, such as seats. Um, also we can unscrew the doors if it's, if it's held on with bolts and things like that. Uh, we've also got up here, we've got certain what we call dragon lights. They are scene lights and if we go to an accident that's happened at night time, so that we can illuminate the area. And the main priority is firefight safety, so it's important for us to make sure that the area is as controlled as it can be. Uh, if we move further down here, we've got a winch. This winch in particular is called the turf winch. Using a cable which is mounted here in the appliance, we can put that through the winch and that will allow us to either stabilise a car or we can pull cars out of ditches and things like that. Further up in, although this isn't linked to RTC, we do have a drawer up here. On this drawer we have um, some more equipment which is suitable for rescuing casualties who are trapped when there is no RTC. So for example, if, uh, if we've got a casualty trapped upstairs somewhere, we can use those bits of kit to get the casualty down safely while maintaining a straight spine in the case of spinal injuries. Uh, we've also got various bits of equipment, so on this drawer here we've got a bit of equipment here that will access cars that are locked. So we do get children locked in cars occasionally and using that equipment we can get into the car safely without causing too much damage. That is pretty much all of the RTC locker. Be sure to join us again soon when we'll look further around the appliance and we'll see you then. Thank you very much.